Farm YouTube channel. Alrighty, everybody. It is what, day four? Day four. We've been out here. I'm wearing my Mountain Dew hat today because it was good luck. We didn't break anything on Friday, and Friday was the only day I wore it, so trying to bring some of that back. Yeah. We need the diff to hold today. I don't know what to do because we're in eliminations now, and I don't want to have a slow launch because then we'll lose, but I don't want the diff to break because then we'll lose. So I want to slip the clutch off the line to try and help everything survive, but uh, at the same time, it's really hard to slip the clutch and get a good reaction time, so it's tough to say what we'll have to do. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna pull up here and see where we qualified, see who we're racing today. We're right there. So we qualified number 18. And we're running 15. We're running, we're running, we're running the number 15 qualifier. J. I don't know who that is. Totally on the side. Yes. Yeah, we do Thanks. both. Sorry. Thank you. Thanks. Sorry. No, you're good. All right, so we're right oh, here. It's a Honda Civic. Oh, it's oh, a it's Civic. Oh, be a good race look. It's a, it's this guy with a, oh, uh, yeah, this Honda Civic. 95 Civic. Oh man, so that's gonna be a close. We got a race on our hands. <laughs> Not the Civic, dude. <laughs> well, it could be worse. We could be running this Civic that went yeah. 747 at 215. Yeah, we could be running that Civic. So at least, at least we have a good close okay. match race. So, guys, here we go. Here's us. Qualifier number 18, we went 787. We're racing number 15, Jonathan Reynolds. He went 782 at 182. Damn. He's, he's been 184. Dude, I'm gonna, we're going to have to let it rip off yeah, the line. We're just, gonna have we're just If it breaks, it breaks. We just have to go for it. Well, after seeing those results, it looks like I'm going to have to floor it. Yeah, definitely gonna have Don't to floor forget it. to floor it. I will absolutely floor it. We're racing a Honda first round. I don't know, but it's it's a fast one. <laughs> all right, after confirming with Brent, the Honda master, we are racing the all-wheel drive Civic first round. Hondas are my kryptonite. We got to beat this guy. I believe. We got to beat him. We got Brent over here. He's going to give uh, the diff a dad pep talk. Dad pep talk. He's the most kids around here, so. <laughs> what, do you, what do you have to say to him? I got to say, you know, you've never really let me down, so, you know, just go out there and do your best. You know? Um, we believe in you for sure. Yeah, that's we, we'll great, let her rip. Great pep talk. Yeah, great pep talk. All right, guys, hang in there down there, buddy. We love you. We need you we to do. beat this all-wheel drive Civic. We do. Love you, buddy. Love All you, right. buddy. You got this. We believe. Yeah. We, we believe. believe. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, here's our competitor, all-wheel drive Civic. Where are, you, where are they at? How much boost are you running? Three fire. Sixty. Sixty. Uh, I heard eighty. Eighty. <laughs> Who makes eighty? It's not an Evo. Speed Factory said they made one hundred and one yesterday, so oh, I got. But that's like eighty. I'm keeping my eye on you, Honda guys. It's like an eighty-six millimeter turbo. Yeah. Probably seventy-six. Damn, bro. How much does this thing weigh? Oh, by the way, twenty-six twenty. Twenty-six twenty. Okay. <laughs> Damn, look at the that's good yeah. sick. That is pretty fancy. This thing is cool. Let's check it out. Let's, let's get the water. Yep. Okay. Dude, bro, look at that. All-wheel drive like. Yeah. Damn, that is crazy. Alright. We'll see what we can do. Let's go. Let's go guys. First round elimination. All-wheel drive on a civic. A seven second all-wheel drive on a civic. Guys, we're also repping the Puerto Rican flag on this pass for Emilio. A lot of people from Puerto Rico are here. They came a long way, so we want to support them too. So we got the American flag and the Puerto Rican flag. Man, I can't believe we even qualified a World Cup, baby. Eh? What to be proud of, guys.
damn. I broke it again. You're not leaking anything. Damn it, man. Destroying this drivetrain. Well, we had that Honda, though. <laughs> You did. You didn't. You didn't split the rear end like you did last time. Good job, Cletus. Thanks, guys. See ya, bro. Damn, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm bummed, but we gave it our all. No one can say we didn't give it our all. Well, thank you, Cletus McFarland, for pulling over and stopping. I think we broke third gear on that one. We were out on that guy. <laughs> I beat you six <laughs> We were out on that guy. And then boom. Freaking explodes. I thought it broke the diff. Yeah. So I, I pulled over, but it broke the transmission. Did it? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, breaking something's better than. We were out on that guy, though. <laughs> yeah, you were. You treat him. Bro, cue right the, the, to the scene. We almost and had there it. There goes the bar. Uh, here dude, comes Well, let's pull you on, brother. Hey, bro. No one said we didn't give it our best shot. No. Hey, breaking's better than losing. Well, I thought it was a dip, so I pulled over immediately. Yeah, we need to start line cleared. That's a chance, guys. I think we ate some teeth. Definitely ate some teeth off the trans. Oh, man. As much as I want to be pissed, at least it wasn't like I lost and broke yeah it's not like we had, we were out we were ripping and our parts failed we knew coming here we were gonna break diffs that's why we brought three we went through them all i already hit up rpm and was like i want that c6 zr1 diff so we will uh we'll get it we'll upgrade and we'll be back i wouldn't mind seeing that eighth mile time slip it, it was it oh, broken it, right. it broke on a two three shift oh, right. it's right. never broken on a two three shift he yeah. went 750 yeah he was cooking damn <laughs> bro we were on him enough to where if we were just able to be under power through the rest of the yeah. track he would have caught you he would have oh. out etg but that don't matter because we had to buy enough on the tree that would have been sick damn that good for him 750 that's awesome but He's a serious contender out there. Yeah, that's sick. At least he'll go on and hopefully he hopefully he wins. I'll feel good if he wins. <laughs> yeah, so that Civic we were racing just broke the all-wheel drive Civic world record with that pass. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I was 0.195 on the tree. He was a second. We could have gone at 856 and beat him. What were we thinking? We gave the pep talk yeah, to the we diff. Gave it to the diff, but I didn't give it to the transmission. We forgot about the rest of the drive train. Yeah. She's been so good to us. We didn't She's want been so good to us for so long. Yeah. Literally in the hundreds of passes. Didn't owe us anything. Didn't know us anything. Look at that. Awesome. Hey, how's that? Damn. Jake. Listen. Damn. Oh my gosh. It's all. Broke the input shaft. I think it's just the shaft is broken or is it? the bearings. Oh my gosh. Hold it for a second. Let me try and spin yep. my side. No, like hold your side. Oof. Like, yep, yeah. Look. Oh, we're good. We got, ooh. There's, there's some play. <laughs> it's shy different gear. Ready? That's, that's in gear, right? Yeah, that's in okay. gear. <laughs> Oh Ooh. yeah, oh Ooh. yeah. Damn, dude. This has served us so good. Yeah. How long have we had this trans? This is Leroy's original transmission. RPM just worked up for us. Yeah. With a, with a gear set and a couple other things. Damn. Dude, the OG. The Ameritrans. Damn. The back, they didn't do anything to I know, they, dude. They only touched the diff. We've had nothing ever happen to this trans. We've had the freaking, I think it's because we got the spare probably. I think he got scared when I saw the spare. Yeah. It was like, how <laughs> dare you guys? Was up, so it was like, how do you guys question me? At least we know the culprit now. Look at that crack. It's huge. It's pretty serious. That's why the spare had that billet face on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. So <laughs> RPM just got a new thing now, and they put it on my new transmission. That tells you how long I've had the other one. This is all billet now on the new one. So, gosh dang, man. We could have had the billet one. Frustrating, but... Gotta move forward. Well guys, we're kind of 
taking it down a notch here. Uh, the car is back together. Sadly, with no trans or diff, so we'll be rolling home. No trans, no diff. The torque tube seemed fine. Everything else seemed all right. Uh, it's a bummer, definitely. We just had some pizza, so we are feeling a little bit better about everything. This has been by far the most mentally and uh, physically straining trip we've ever had, but it's good. You know, we've never really done a four day race. We're definitely the youngest team out here, and you know, to think that Leroy would be competitive at World Cup Finals when we started this project, never would have thought that. Uh, we qualified 18. We freaking almost made it to round two, but our parts failed, which we came here expecting. You know, that's why we had a spare trans and three spare divs. But uh, the fact that it didn't, you know, and it broke the divs in qualifying, and then of course the transmission, which we've never had a problem with in, in a year, we finally broke that. But think of when that transmission takes the blow of the diff breaking and stuff, I mean, there's a lot of things wearing on that transmission. Probably two or three hundred eight second passes on it, five, seven second passes on it. Never had a hiccup until today. So, yeah, but like I said, uh, it's been a mental trip for sure. You know, just staying positive is what we're all about. And when your car breaks in front of 30,000 people who are so pumped to see your car, it's like, the, the only thing you want to do is get pissed and freaking throw the keys and light the car on fire. But uh, we just held our heads high. We fixed it every time we could. But now we broke eliminations. We're just going to take it back to the shop and start figuring out a new plan. Talk to RPM Transmissions and they're the best in the game. Those guys are amazing. So we're already starting to plan to get a, a whole new setup, probably a different transmission. We're probably going to upgrade to a TR6060 setup and a uh, C6 ZR1 rear diff, which has a spool in it. A uh, way more serious setup than I've had. It's funny, a lot of Corvette guys are blown away. We've gone as far as we have on these C5 parts because the C6 stuff is way better, like way better. You can ask any Corvette guy and they'll tell you. And RPM kind of preached it to me, but when we started the project, it wasn't in the budget to upgrade and we worked with what we had for so long and it was amazing, you know. We accomplished sevens before anybody with a stick shift GM on the planet with what we had with that C5 setup. But now we're trying to push deep into the sevens. Who knows where we'll end up a year from now. So it's time to get the big boy parts. It's not gonna be cheap, but you know, raffling off the gates is <laughs> get us a start. Well, we sold a bunch of t-shirts this weekend and we'll have our new designs out in the next video so you guys can see those and they'll be for sale online. We're not going to freaking just push Leroy in the corner and be done with them. I want to go faster. I want to see this car run mid sevens or further. Um, <clears throat> we want to go 200 mile an hour. We want to continue to be the fastest stick shift car out there that everybody knows is one of the baddest, you know what I mean? So. We're, uh, we're doing our thing. We're gonna stick with it. We're gonna hold our heads high, finish off this event, have some fun. Just hang out and go watch some racing. We never ever get to do that. We never get to sit in the stands and just enjoy some racing. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna close up the booth here in a little bit and just enjoy ourselves, pack things up, hop in Monica, give Holly a couple pets, take her back to Florida. We have Cletus and Cars this next Saturday. So less than a week from today, we got a lot of work to do before that. We got to get the Crown Vic yeah, ready. Yeah, nothing of yours yeah. runs. Nothing of mine runs. The 240 <laughs> run? Yes. 240 runs. Oh, you're doing the burnout contest in the 240, right? Yeah, I'll see if you break an axle out there. Uh, I'm going to have a small enough tires. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we do have a spare trans and we do have a working diff. So we should be able to get Leroy running for Cletus and cars on Saturday. But uh, we got to get the Crown Vic fixed. We got to get the Dale truck ready to roll. Uh, I hope we, maybe we can get Cooper's car up, but that's gonna be tough because he wants to do the Holly. We have like five days. By the time we get back, because we have a 17 hour drive, we'll have three and a half days. About three and a half days. So we gotta go do stuff at the track too. So it's gonna be a busy week for us, but thank you guys all so much for watching through the weekend, following us on a race team experience. This is a big race for us and you guys were there the whole way. This is honestly the reality of racing, you know? There's only a few winners, and there's a lot of people who battle their entire weekend. Some people give up, some people freaking go home and 
they just don't even try, but you gotta stick with it, and you gotta do what you can, and uh, I think we gave it our best shot this weekend. There's no way anyone can say we didn't give it our best shot. Two diffs, one trans, toast. As much as like it'd be easy to not even post this video because it sucks we lost, you know, we gotta show you guys the downs. You know, we show you all the ups, but we gotta show you the downs too. This is what this channel's all about, so. I'm gonna end it off there. We freaking let it rip tater chip all weekend. Big shout out to James for working so hard and Cooper freaking crushing it, getting up early every day, setting stuff up. It's a team effort as always. Oh, and the Boosted Boys helped out a ton. They helped out a ton. And all these fans out here. Yeah! Freaking helping us out, you know, supporting, moral support at all times. Had a blast. So that's World Cup for you guys. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will see you later.